Hey everybody, hope you're well, and it's James here over at the Part-Time Entrepreneur and Crypto Rookies. I only just got that out. Uh, today we've been sponsored by Superdry, the only brand that makes you feel like a fat bastard because you have to buy another size bigger, and it kickstarts your diet ASAP. February was a complete bloodbath, and for most people, they're going to feel like this guy. I think March will be a lot more positive than February. So let's have a quick look at uh, last month's performance. So like I said uh, at the very beginning when I started this channel, I wanted it to be an investment channel. A little bit of humor here and there, obviously. Uh, but the main thing was that, you know, be accountable for all the different calls that you make. It's not pump and dump. I don't like that bullshit. I, you know, I leave that to the other sort of YouTubers getting paid, whatever. Um, this is all about investing and, and trying to increase your position every single month. And, and that's really the key. Now, this month wasn't great, as we, we know the bloodbath happened, all the rest of it. For the more seasoned investors, I would assume that you probably jumped out of your positions a lot early into USD, Tether, or whatever, or into other safer coins. Uh, I always use Litecoin as a bit of a, a haven. Pretty much every crash, I've always gone into Litecoin, and it's, it's been one of the more stable currencies. So, but this is based purely on snapshot of the 28th of Jan, and also the snapshot of the 26th of Feb. Uh, obviously, it's 28 at the top, but I haven't had time to go back and re-edit it. So just to make that very clear. This month, 29% down, and you would have lost just under £3,000. So not a great month. However, you've got to look at the bigger picture. Actually, overall, we're up £41,159, whatever you're tracking this in. So actually, we're not doing that bad, okay? We took a bit of a hit last month, but remember what I say about investing. You only have to win three times out of ten to break even. And if you win seven times out of ten, you're going to be, you know, it's going to make you a lot of money. And that's the key. So in the total market, we've seen this huge spike just before Christmas in the alts. And I haven't put the chart in, but if you want to go back and look on CoinMarketCap and just look at the alts, I mean, it absolutely just monster trucks in December all the way through into January and then just drops like a, a shovel, basically. Uh, but what we are seeing is that Bitcoin is starting to come back. And there's, there's lots of different reasons for that. You've got the CME futures markets coming back. I've seen three different dates already. I've actually signed up to their website, so I'm going to leave some details at the bottom for you. But if we look at the total picture in terms of total market capitalization, we're actually making some real good progress. Now, for us to, to get to you know $2 trillion, we're going to have to see some real sharp movement. Uh, across the year, but I don't think that is unachievable. Now, I watched a YouTuber the other day, and they said at the end of this year it's going to be anywhere between 10 and 20 trillion. I'll, I'll send me some of the shit you're smoking, man, because I'll, I'll have some of that. You know, that's that's not going to happen. Two to three trillion potentially, um, but we're going to have to see some some big things happen. So my first coin is NEX. Now, this is actually going to be an ICO stage, but as soon as it hits the exchanges this is going to be the coin to get. Now, I've done a whole review on this, so I'm not going to go through it in any detail at all. Basically, it is a decentralized exchange based on the NEO platform. Low market supply, 25 million coins are going to be available with a total um, supply of 50 million. And that starts on the 15th of March. There's going to be a lottery where 25,000 people have the opportunity to purchase just a thousand tokens. There's, there wasn't much hype about this. Um, I've recently reviewed it and I'm just starting to see some good momentum with this. There's a lot of hype building and it's going to launch at a dollar. So I think with all the hype, low supply, I think we might see uh, a two or three dollar coin very, very quickly. So the key one is ZCL. So obviously by the time this video goes out, you'll have about 20 hours to get your um, your Bitcoin private. So when I do the price, it's going to include, um, for the total, it will include the price of ZCL and also Bitcoin private at the same time, uh, based on equal measure as such. So that's just to even out the price, because obviously ZCL will drop like a, a brick 
once uh, people get their Bitcoin private. I see it going to probably maybe as low as $40, uh, maybe within the, the $60 range. So between $40 and $60, I see that going down to. But again, Bitcoin private, not really sure what that's going to launch at. It could be the next Bitcoin cash and rise up to over $1,000, or it could be Bitcoin gold and just absolutely tank. We've also got Ethereum Classic. This was also a call last month, Callisto Network Project, uh, that new protocol that's coming. Again, talked about it last month, not going to go into too much detail. Uh, that's on the 5th of March. You get one for one, and the uh, the wallet for Ethereum Classic is also released on the 31st of March or within the next month or so. So, again, lots of stuff happening with Ethereum Classic. It's $36 now. This could potentially rise quite significantly. The daddy is back. So, Bitcoin forming a head and shoulders pattern. We might see a little bit of a drop still yet, but technicals are there. I think we will start to see some stabilization and then we will see Bitcoin pump. If we see some of the technicals, it could go as high as 16.9. The other day when I was having a chat with my friend Dan, that we, we'd be looking at at least 15 to 16 this month and, and the technicals are really sort of saying that now. So now we have a little interlude brought to you by BMW. If you want to drive like a wanker, buy one of these. Ah oh, shit, I already did. <laughs> so uh, we're talking about VeChain. Now VeChain isn't in the list. Uh, I just wanted to highlight something to you. So the big thing is, is rumors and actual news. So what we can see is where I've uh, highlighted the spike, that's when I heard about the rumors about BMW hooking up with VeChain. And the news was released only a day or so ago and the price is pretty much tanked. So obviously it's people selling on the news. So be careful of some of the hype with some coins. Make sure you get in early and then don't wait for the news and go, oh, it's going to go up because generally it will go down and it replicates most of the markets as well. Definitely want to keep an eye on along with Ambrosius, which I think will be uh, will be bigger than VeChain personally. Then we have Cryos. Now Cryos is currently at 10 cents because it's at ICO price. It's only just finished, but it will be going on exchanges. Uh, at the near the end of the month and they're going to be on two of the top five exchanges the guys have been last week in silicon valley working on some key partnerships so again you know i'm sure there's some back and forth and all different types of things going on there but there'll be some announcements about that as well and you've also got the token burn and i've worked it out roughly it might be around 300 million of a 650 million token so around half will be burned And the other thing is, this is the indie hash killer. I mean, the amount of hype, the amount of money that indie hash paid YouTubers to go out and absolutely pump the shit out of that uh, was unbelievable. And Cryos has sort of just nicely come in. There'll be a nice build of hype. Uh, and I promise you now, in the hash, as you, you may as well just put it away now. Uh, this will absolutely blow it out of the park. So the next one is 10x. And they're doing a lot of promotion at the moment. So Toby's off to the Token 2049 conference. Uh, you've also got the cards reissued. So again, this is my old one, but I'm waiting for my new one to come along. And also, uh, according to the roadmap, Q1 2018, you know, we'll be looking at the finalization of some Comet stuff or news or something that will be coming very soon. And the other one is that um, I was supposed to have an interview with Julian on the channel and he cancelled. Now, that's not like Julian, I don't think, personally, uh, from following him and stuff. He says he can do something, he does it, uh, unless there is something imperative that he has to do. So, again, I can only assume that he's very busy. You know, we're coming to potential um, areas where there might be talk around sort of the banking license. We know that quite, you know, some time ago he was in Amsterdam and he was talking to a lot of people. So, I can only assume that there is a lot going on and that there will be some news potentially this month, maybe flow into next month, uh, but it's definitely one to watch. So Lightpay goes live today. I've had so many people inbox me, show me like, you know, their invitation emails and all the rest of it. There's so, so much excitement around this at the moment that I'm super hyped, but you know, people know that I've got very much a big soft spot for Litecoin. Um, it's super cheap, it's super fast. You know, I don't send stuff in Bitcoin. I always use Litecoin. It's just so much better. Um, the wallet is really good, like Loaf Wallet. 
Uh, so if you're looking for a good one for Litecoin, then that's definitely one. Uh, and then obviously I use just Exodus to, to put excess uh, coins in as well. So I'm still really bullish by the end of the year that we will see a $750 Litecoin. I just think Litecoin is just going to get so much more focus and you know it's been the understudy for a long time and I think like now it's got his singing voice and he's coming to the front to fucking belt it out basically. The next one is Request Network. They're due a partnership announcement. I mean, I talked about some stuff with some banks and bits and pieces and some financial uh, potential partnerships before. Again, last time I called it, it was 31 cents and it went up to over a dollar. So it's back on the menu. It's 29 cents, so it's even cheaper this time. And I believe that there's a whole bunch of news coming. They've also got the launch, uh, the pay request project. So obviously that's the like the PayPal button where you just pay. That's coming out as well. So, so some real exciting stuff and starting to talk about Request Network, New Trust, I'm not talking about Manifa because that's shit. But one thing that really caught my eye was that um, there was a little article from some years ago where PayPal and Visa said, oh, we're finally going to kill the check. And they pretty much did. But now Request Network here and they're going to kill PayPal and Visa. So the next one is Neo. Now I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with Neo. So I bought early days when it was ant shares, not many people knew about it. And then it got all the way up to, I don't know, what was it, $45 and I sold. I made an absolute packet. And I didn't buy a shed load. It was only like a, I don't know, 100 or something. Then it dropped all the way back down. Then I went back in again at like $16 and sort of held, even though I wasn't sure if I should. And now it's $135. And all of it now is in a staking wallet. But um, there's so much good stuff coming. So you've got the ONT airdrop. And that's going to happen on the 1st of March. So if you're watching this video, you're probably just going to get in in time. Also, you know, it's weathered the storm well through... It's also weathered the storm well in recent times. So it's sort of saying to me that, that you know this is a more stable coin. Where before I'd always used Litecoin, I'm actually seriously looking at Neo now that when you know, shit is the fan, like where am I going to put my money? Um, you know, It's easy to trade out into USD or whatever, but... Sometimes, you know, you do, even when the markets go tits up, basically, you, you know, there are other coins that will always go. And I think NEO is just one of them. And it's exciting because there's a lot of projects being built on NEO. So I think we might see some real big action with NEO this year. And the other key thing is 10th of March, they've got the second DevCon as well. So there's lots of activity happening around NEO this month. So the next one is Nebulous. Now, these guys are looking to be the Google of the blockchain. You know, low supply at the moment, obviously. Don't start drooling them out thinking this is it. It's not. There is, um, their total supply will be in you know, about 100 million or so. So they have the trio from Neo. Now their team is completely hardcore. It's the only way to describe it. It's pretty good. Uh, and when I started looking at it, I was like, wow, this is, uh, this is a bit of a dream team. And the other thing is, it's not on the big exchanges yet. So when this does, like if it gets on Binance or something like that, this is going to $10. Uh, just basically on FOMO, nothing else, just pure FOMO. So again, this is definitely one to put in your watch list and just keep an eye on it. As always, thank you for taking the time for listening to my videos. I hope they're educational. I hope you get a lot of value out of them. If you, uh, you know, leave comments and definitely make sure you subscribe so you get all of my videos as soon as they come out. You can check out Crypto Rookies and find out what giveaways we're doing this month. Uh, and you can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook group, which is PT Cryptocurrency Community Group. And we also have a, a Crypto Rookies group as well. So, hey guys, just come on, join in the community and see what we're doing. And as always, guys, I'll see you on the next video. We're sponsored by Super Dry. Fuck. Hey, everybody, I hope you're well. And it's James here for the part time on <laughs> Crypto Rookies. Fuck it out. Um, Hey everybody, hope you're well, and it's James here with a part-time entrepreneur, 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 and crypto rookies. Ooh, and I'm feeling...